<laughs> hey everybody, it's Vlogmas, December 18th, and it's Sunday, and I am Desi, and we are not inside Desi's Crochet Cubby today, obviously, we are at the kitchen table, I figured this might be a, a better spot for, for my hubby, and speaking of hubby, he is my special guest today, this is Kenny, he's my hubby cubby, H period, C period, hubby cubby. I'm going to get a drink here. We're drinking coffee today, and it is salted caramel with white chocolate international delight. And let me see. I'm going to try to crochet a little bit on my Christmas mandala <laughs> without spilling my coffee. Um, so, yeah, he's got, he's got the notes. We are going to start the 31... Vlogmas Christmas questions. My own personal memorial. Memorable. Memorable. <laughs> memorable. Get this out right, yeah. That <laughs> was uh, when my father took and used to be into uh, electronics and used to take and buy these night kits, spelled K N I G H T S. And there were kits that you soldered together um, stereo components. And receivers and, and amplifiers and I remember him buying me my first uh, AM FM radio that I had to literally start out and solder every single piece on the assembly board to take and, I, and get this to work and uh, I remember how excited I was to take and get that and when I to be able to actually turn it on and actually hear it playing uh, that, that was fun is that my turn? Yeah, your turn. You want to maybe maybe just hold if you're okay holding your hand there. Are you okay? Well, yeah, no, nah, I'll just I'll hold it. So what is it again? The most memorable memorable Christmas and why? Memorable Christmas. Hmm. Huh. Well, I was moved around a lot as a child, so I'm just gonna go off of when I was really young. I think I was probably six or seven years old. Um, there might be a couple different pieces to this, but I just remember, uh, my sister Valerie, she had a bed across from, from me, and then this way, my other sister was in the bedroom with, uh, her bed, so it was Jane's bed, Jane's bed, Val's bed, my bed, and I remember, um, Val sleeping, and I remember me and my sister Jane, uh, thinking that we heard Santa up on the rooftop and we really thought we heard hooves and things like that but uh, we wanted to go downstairs so bad but we were afraid if Santa seen us um, we wouldn't get our gifts or, or whatever but uh, I remember that part and I remember going downstairs in the morning super super early and I remember my sister Val uh, she was the older sister is the older sister and she would like hand the gifts out because she was older she could read and she just handed her gifts out to us but I remember getting a baby doll and then I remember a teddy bear too but that might have been <coughs> two separate ones but uh, yeah I just remember a whole 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 bunch of presents under the tree that was when my mom and dad were still married and I don't know I just being that young when my parents were together that's when it was the most memorable for me so here you go Ken Oh, get, go ahead, get a drink of coffee. Right, number two. Name a gift that you were most excited about. Go ahead, you can answer. And, Hold it up. Well, I, I could refer back to the first question about, about the uh, Hold it up. radio. Um, but I can also remember getting our first sleds. And we had, they were high risers. They had the high runners so that it could go through deeper snow. And I can remember us um, uh, taking them out for a test ride that very day, Christmas Day. And we used to live down a hill, steep hill. And we used to take them, set up sleigh trains. We were taking, <clears throat> take them, attach ourselves to the sled behind us and then a sled behind them and actually form a, tr a train and go down the hill and start whipping and having all kinds of fun. But 
I can remember those sleighs. I, I remember how excited we were to take get them out and, and, and try them out. So I guess that would be one of my uh, 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 gifts that I can remember most. So the question is, again, what's the question the again? The gift that you're most excited about. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> uh, hmm. well, I think I actually already answered that. Um, it was the baby doll. That, that uh, kind of goes together for the most memorable and the gift I was most excited about. Because, I don't know, for some reason I just don't remember a whole lot of gifts. I don't know if I'm just bad memory or I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I remember two specific. And it's the teddy bears that me and my sister got and just the, the baby doll. That's all. <laughs> Here you go, Ken. Hubba cubba. All right, we're going to go to question number three. Uh, what did your mom make for Christmas dinner that was so traditional in your family? And I would say that at Christmas time, uh, we had ham a lot. She would always make a hams with uh, 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 pineapples Ooh. on top, baked with it. Wow. I can remember... Uh, 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 we always look forward to having, uh, besides all the wonderful foods that she made, uh, always had that big slice of ham to go with our Christmas dinner, and that was always nice. Ooh. Okay. Well, so it is the question again? Uh, what, was, what did your mom make for Christmas dinner that was traditional, always? Traditional. Hmm. Well, we didn't do hams. A lot of us didn't like ham in the house. I still don't care for ham too much. It sounds good, what your mom did, though. Um, yeah, we had turkey, um, coleslaw, mashed potatoes, the normal stuff, um, stuffing, things like that. Uh, I remember her getting up, well, actually, the day before she prepared some of the stuff, and that would have been a bunch of her pies. She was pretty much famous for her pies. Um, yeah, and then she got up super early uh, the day of Christmas and she um, did whatever she didn't do the day the day before. And we, did, we had a really big meal and it was very nice, but it was pretty much the same every year, but we loved her cooking. She was a very, very good cook. Um, so as far as the cooking goes, yeah, that was our traditional thing. Here you go. <coughs> I forgot to get my little buddy. Um, we took a, a little intermission, and I heated, reheated my coffee, and I got a couple of cookies. And I believe that we are on number four, so I'm going to hand off to Hubby. I do want to go to question number four, and uh, how would you describe the true meaning of Christmas? And I think the, I think of Christmas Oops. in a couple two ways. Uh, one in the true meaning, which is the birth of our Lord Savior, and I refer to that as the beginning of our salvation. When I when I say that, because that's what Christmas it, it really is is about um, the little baby in the manger uh, who was born on Christmas Day to take him comes and to give us hope and uh, salvation. But then I also think of traditional Christmases. I kind of think of like Thomas Kincaid and uh, Norman Rockwell. Uh, I, I like those kind of, uh, as a matter of fact, even when I take and not decorate, I sort of uh, decorate in that sort of way, uh, traditionally. So uh, as far as the true meaning of Christmas, it's definitely about Jesus Christ and being born on that day for for sinners like me and uh, that's what I try to keep focused on as uh, Christmas approaches. Okay, good, good answer, good answer. Uh, so it is. What what is the exact question? Uh, how would you describe the true meaning of Christmas? True meaning of Christmas. 
Well, my personal belief and my husband's personal belief is uh, that uh, Jesus was born in a manger and he came to this earth so that we would have salvation through him. So Jesus Christ is the true meaning for him and I. That's our personal belief. We're not pushing that on anybody. That's what Christmas is to us. Um, but of course, we do the, you know, there is a commercial commercial <laughs> part of this to it. It's kind of hard to get out of it. But as I got older, um, I realized that the gift giving part is about love. And Jesus is love. God is love. Um, so definitely that's, that's a big part of it. And uh, my husband does the decorating here. So and he does a fabulous job. I just, I get out of the way. <laughs> I get out of the way. But he does a really nice job. So, so for us, it's semi-commercialized. But uh, in our hearts, it's all about Christ. Amen. And we're going to go on to question number five. Number five, <clears throat> did you sing Christmas songs or go caroling when you were younger? Uh, I did, for, for certain. Uh, I belonged to uh, MYF, which is the Youth Fellowship Group in uh, Methodist Church. Well, and as a teenager, we would take and actually, uh, we had quite a few members of our young know, members around my age in our church that we were practice certain songs prior to Christmas and then we would actually go out uh, pick a per certain night to go out and actually knock on people's our neighbors doors and actually uh, sing our songs and uh, Christmas songs and uh, that was a, I remember that that was a lot of fun and uh, uh, I don't know if you see so much of it today uh, but that was uh, that was uh, good memories. Did, did you did you say something about your daughters about Christmas caroling? Did they go? Uh, they would do um, sing Christmas songs in the church. They would have uh, like uh, the church would take and have a, a a night or day where they would take and do have a program where they would take and practice and do sing songs for, for church members or anybody that wanted to go and listen. Oh, uh, well, that's nice. So and that, that, that happens a lot today, too. Yeah. So the question is, uh, you can just hold that there. What is it? Did you go caroling or sing songs? Mm. Mm. Oh, I do remember one time, one time, we didn't do it as a family, but I remember we lived in a trailer court, uh, I think when I, I, probably when I was like 11 years old, I remember the neighborhood kids in the trailer court decided they wanted to gather together and go caroling. <laughs> That's the only memory I have about caroling, so. All right, on to the next question. Uh, did you or your parents do a lot of decorating? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Still do today, but sort of downsized so much now that the kids are not uh, are all grown up and have their own families, etc. So, and uh, but I enjoy decorating, and I try to do something a little different each year, uh, uh, especially when it comes to to uh, decorating the tree. I try to come up with different themes, etc. And uh, I usually sort of take over in that mm -hmm. department that I don't, I think she trusts me and uh, she uh, likes, likes, what, likes it when we're all done. I love what you do. Um, what about decorating? Uh, did you mention about your children? Because we're going to kind of go like when you were a kid, when we were kids, and then also with like when, because I want to explain that um, we're, this is our second marriage, his and mine together. So uh, he has two daughters. And I have a son and a daughter. And together, I think, what, we have nine, nine grandchildren? Nine grandchildren. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to explain that. But, uh, yeah, we'll kind of try to flip-flop between um, when we were kids and then also with our uh, children. So what was the answer for when you're, uh, the question for, like, 
the children in your household for that question? For decorating? Mm -hmm. uh, you should have took and had them help put some dec uh, ornaments on the tree. Okay. Um, so it was a family thing? Little family thing, okay. yeah. Okay. And uh, next question is, was your did Christmas I answer tree that? a real one or was it is it our hang, hang on, did I answer that? Yes. Did I? What yeah. was it again? Decorating? Yeah. No, I don't think I answered that. Something about what is it? What what your tradition is for decorating? No, no. Uh, and did you or your parents do a lot of decorating? No, I don't think I answered that. Uh, let me hold this. Um, decorating, decorating. Um. Well, it my mother did the decorating. And I think she was the only one. Well, no, that's not true. She did almost all of it. And then us kids, she allowed us <laughs> to put on, like, she for tinsel, she liked, you know, little bits of tinsel. She didn't like us throwing it. She was very particular with that. But she was the one that did the decorating. And as far as um, for my kids in my first marriage, because our kids are grown, um, uh, let me think. Trying to remember, I think I did the decorating, and then also I let my kids do it. So there you go. What number are we on to? Okay. I usually sorry. Hey, we are now on to number seven. And was your Christmas tree real or was it artificial? Mm. And I can remember now since when I was a kid growing up, my parents had real Christmas trees. Matter of fact, my dad was a scoutmaster, and he uh, and the scouts would take and and I helped, which sell Christmas trees at Christmas time, make money for their scout troops, and um, so we traditionally had real Christmas trees. And I can remember smelling the pine mm. in the house. I, uh. I loved it, and but then as we got older, um, and uh, I would say in the 70s and 80s is when we had the real Christmas trees. And then from that point on, uh, I think my parents went, went to artificial. Because mm. uh, it was less messy, of course. And uh, they they come along so long with making artificial trees look so authentic and so real. It's amazing. Yeah. So, uh, and so that, Deb and I, uh, using artificial trees. Uh, did you say you, what kind of trees did you have with your children? They were called Christmas trees. Uh -huh. but, no. <laughs> but, artificial or real? They were, with my children, they were, it was artificial. Artificial, okay. Uh, so the question, the question is whether you had a real tree, or what was the question again? Or an artificial one. Yeah, okay, so, so if you had a real or an artificial, ah, oh, boy. Oh, boy, if I get this wrong, my sister Jane's going to be like, that's wrong. Um, I think for the longest time growing up, we had a real tree. I remember the cat climbing it a few times. <laughs> Our cat's climbing it, knocking it over. Um, I don't think my mother liked artificial. I don't think. I don't think we ever had one. I might be wrong, but... Um, for me and my kids, we had real ones. Like my hubby said there, we loved the smell of the pine. That was real important to us. But I also had to worry about the fires <laughs> because there was a lot of fires. Everybody knows that there was a lot of fires um, with the real trees. Um, so I believe that I had, for the most part, for my kids, uh, yeah, we had real trees. I don't think we ever had artificial. But for you and I, we do the artificial. So... Okay. Did you open up any gifts on Christmas Eve? I don't remember as a child or growing up opening up on Christmas Eve. Uh, I do. I do remember uh, going to bed. There was nothing under the tree, but ah. I always remember waking up and there was just stacks, and and, and there was seven of us. I was gonna. And I don't remember as a as a uh, a, ch a kid doing that. I just remember 
a crisp, uh, decorated Christmas tree mm. with nothing under it on Christmas Eve when we went to bed, and then when we wake up, there would be tons and tons of presents because there were seven of us siblings. And Can you imagine seven? Oh and, my gosh. And so there Poor were. Poor mommy. <laughs> sometimes half the tree would be just covered. Oh. And so uh, I don't remember doing it, but I do uh, remember uh, we did that uh, a few times with my own two daughters that we, me and, uh, and my ex wife would take and let them open up one gift you want to hold that closer? on Christmas Eve before they went to bed. So uh, I, I did do that with my own kids. Okay, so let me see. I think the question is, did you open gifts Christmas Eve? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that was a tradition. Um, my mom always let us do that. Something really small, we did that. I think I remember passing that on to my children when they were younger. Um, yeah, that was important to me. Yeah, that, that was a memory that was really good for me, and I just wanted my children to experience that. Yeah, so the answer is yes, we did. Oh, and there was, let me, let me think. Um, there was actually five of us in the family, but uh, through divorce and all of that, it just ended up where my sister Jane and I were together, and so her and I got to open the gift on Christmas Eve. A gift. Very good. All right. Did, all right. Did you and your family members? Did you have family members over for Christmas dinner? Mm. Well, I can always remember um, my parents uh, having up seven seven ch children, and then when they got married and had children. I remember the house being really crowded. Aww. They had a small house. I can remember just it was just packed, full of kids, family members, Sounds et cetera. Wonderful. And actually, it got to a point where families, as they got bigger, that we had to start sort of dividing up to, and go to different places on Christmas Day. For example, my old sister would take and have certain members over for Christmas dinner talking about Christmas dinner now, and and my parents we would all end up visiting the parents, of course, but we tried not to do it at the same time, so it wouldn't be so crowded. So uh, <clears throat> so the answer would be yes, and, uh, and like I said, as, as uh, we got older and we had our own families, families got bigger, well, it sort of changed and uh, uh, started, started uh, Divided it out a little bit to uh, different family members' places for dinner, but like I said, we always took and saw our mom and dad. <laughs> Doesn't he give the best answers? Man, nostalgic, it's all about nostalgia. Um, no, uh, we didn't have people over as far as when I was young. I don't remember that at all. We just did our own little thing with our family, which was wonderful. Um, like I said, it, for my mom and my stepdad, my sister and I, that's that's what it was all about there. Um, so no, we didn't we didn't have anybody over. Uh, he has the more exciting stuff to talk about because his childhood sounds fabulous. I mean, I wish I would have been there. It sounds so nice. A smaller house, not not too small, a smaller house. All those kids, can you even imagine Christmas morning? That would have been a blast. I wish I would have been a part of that. So, yeah, my hubby gives the best answers. <laughs> I try. Mm. Next one should be a uh, Oops. quick answer. Does gift wrapping me? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like uh, even uh, uh, in the past, I've always Honey, hold I've, I've always oh, done uh, Christmas, Christmas wrapping. I guess because I, I'm good at it, and they liked the way I did it, so I would be stuck with the gift wrapping. But that's okay. So it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I, it was a learning process too, because I learned that you could buy real cheap. 
wrapping paper or you can buy good wrapping paper. And I learned that it's better to buy good wrapping paper when it comes to wrapping gifts. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's my advice. <laughs> so uh, the, the question is what, uh, uh, something about gift wrapping. Yeah, who did the gift wrapping? Who did the gift wrapping? That would be my mom. My mom. Uh, yeah, I think she was the only one that did it. She liked to do it, and she was really good at it, too. As far as me and uh, when my kids were little, I did it. Um, I have a specific memory. I'll try to keep it short. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a drink here. <clears throat> that coffee went down, or that cookie went down wrong. Okay, so I was at work. I had, I had wrapped these gifts, and I stuck them underneath the bed in the bedroom. My now ex-husband... Uh, he was in charge of the children, so I was at work. And then I came home, and he was asleep. He must have taken a nap. He kind of locked the kids in the bedroom with them and to make sure they were safe, obviously. And all of the gifts were open. So he, that uh, good thing the kids were really young because I um, rewrapped everything, and on Christmas Day everything was okay. But, yeah, Christmas was almost destroyed. But <laughs> everything worked out. Hey, who was in, who was in uh, uh, charge of the Christmas tree decorating? I think my dad did Christmas tree decorating, just like I do today. Oh, so it got passed down, kind sure. of. So that's why you like doing all yeah, of your I stuff. Suppose, I suppose. Yeah. Um, uh, hey, who was in, so, so who 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 decorates? Who decorated the tree so my mom she decorated the, the tree um, let me see and for me all those years ago ah man see if I can remember who did the tree I think that I included the kids on that um, that was important to me that they got to they hung the bulbs you know with them not being so tall they got the as far as they could reach, they got to put the bulbs. And then, of course, later on, like he's saying, I'm, I've kind of got this thing where i got to have things a little... It's a touch of perfectionism. <laughs> so after they, they did their little thing, a little bit later when they were off doing, you know, playing or whatever, I would put things where I wanted it to go. But uh, So it was a family thing um, for my children. And for us, uh, I, like, I, I let Kenny do his thing because he... He's good at it, and sometimes I just don't want to do it, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> to be honest with and, you. And we do try to take and decorate the tree differently every year. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, Like different themes, like this year we... My mom! That gold and silver kind of theme for the tree. Mm -hmm. uh, year, prior years, I went with eight year blue and silvers, oh, and stuff I like that. that. So I try to... Try to do it a little different each and year. And then you but. did the snow thing for me one year because that's what I wanted. Yeah. Where you spray the tree with the, the, the next question uh, was Christmas cookies and baking a big part of your Christmas. Absolutely. Uh, my mom, she was a, uh, a great baker mm. and, as well as a cook. There she he had, goes. She had, seven children, she had seven children to, oh. take, to feed, so she learned how to, how to cook and uh, oh did a lot of baking. She was a sweet woman. And, and, and one of the memories I have that really sticks to my mind about her baking was, Aww. and making cookies and stuff at Christmas time was, she was always used to make popcorn balls. Oh, and I forgot all about that. And they would be colored popcorn, would be red ones and blue wow. ones and green ones. And uh, wow. I can remember uh, having those popcorn balls. I forgot all about that. Uh, she would use colored uh, uh, colored wrap to wrap them up, oh, wow. so you can handle them stuff like that before you ate them and stuff. But so that's the colored part is the wrap, or yeah, yeah. Wow. colored part was the wrap. Yeah. Neat, neat. That'd be fun to do with the grandkids yeah. when they get a little bit older. So that's that's one of the things I I uh, oh. have good fond memories of. Oh, I'm so jealous! I'm so jealous. Okay, name it again for me, because 
was Christmas cookies and baking a big part of your Christmas? Christmas cookies and baking. A part of mine? Just mine? Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. I, I think yes. In my first marriage. And up to a certain point with you. Until kind of my health went, <laughs> went south a little bit. It's hard for me to muster up the energy sometimes. I really want to do it. I really want to do it this year. But I'm going to see. I'm going to she see. Did, she did not make them. Yes, I did. It's a chocolate chip. It's a chocolate chip. I made them. Uh, that's my uh, son's favorite kind of cookie. But, uh, yes, I I like to I like to do the cookie. So, we'll see. That might end up being a video for you guys. Maybe I can get hubby in, involved. And did your Maybe. family... Did your family traditions become part of your household at Christmas time? I think so. Uh, there's certain things that growing up I can remember. Um, I would say decorating big, big part of it. From okay. my, that would be from my dad. Uh, Christmas music is a big part of it. Matter of fact, uh, so I can remember some of the Christmas songs that my dad used to take and play at Christmas time. Like I what? can remember I can remember the the chipmunk songs. Oh what? and uh and then my, mommy kissing Santa Claus and oh. I can remember Bing Crosby and the White Christmas oh. and my dad played a lot of uh country music albums um at Christmas time. Um so I carried oh. on uh from from my parents Stop. at Christmas time. And uh, so that's just some of them that I can think of right now, anyway. Okay. Uh, pardon me, guys. My brain's a little bit scattered today. I'm having trouble focusing a little bit. Um, uh, question? Did your family tradition become part of your household? Family traditions. Oh, I think I kind of already answered that for, for everybody. Um, and I just want everybody to know that uh, I'm going to actually post these questions down in the description box underneath this video. So I don't know how it is for the phone, but I know on the computer underneath the um, video there is off to the right, I believe, uh, like a arrow or something like that you can click on. And it'll say show more. You click on that, show more, and it will drop down the description box. And I will have the questions in there for you. So um, you can kind of go over that and answer them to yourself as we're answering. So, And also to other podcasters, you may use our questions. Um, Hubby and I both did the questions. He did some, and I did some. Next question. Did your mom and dad get up early in the morning? Oops prepare for Christmas dinner. Uh, I Probably. would say we got up before they did as kids. Your mom didn't get up really early and start baking she stuff? She'd take and sometimes actually have some stuff prepared the day before. But did she get up like in the a.m. and make the turkey or the ham? Yes. Like 4 a.m.? No, 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 no. She, she would actually start, she might start at around 6 a.m. Okay. Not quite well, that's 4. that's still early. And, um, that's still early. But, uh, so I say yes, yes and no, but I think a lot of times I got up early because us kids got up early at Christmas morning. <laughs> what time did you get up? You oh, I, I think we were always up by 6 o'clock. No earlier? I, I, I'm not, who, I can't who, answer. Who was the first one that got up? Who usually was the first one that snuck down? I'm thinking Dave. I'm not sure. You don't I'm remember? not sure. You don't I just remember getting up early and, and then having to have breakfast before we were actually. Oh, what a bummer! Yep. Because your stomach's not ready yep. for that. And uh. that breakfast consists of oatmeal, back in the day, cream of wheat. <laughs> cream of wheat. So, okay, I'm sorry. Read the question for me. And did your family? Uh, did your mom and dad get up early in the morning? Did your mom and dad get up? Did your mom and dad get up early in the morning to prepare, to prepare for, Christmas for Christmas dinner? Yes, 
It wouldn't be mom and dad. It would just be my mom. Just my mom. So I already answered that one, so I'm going to pass the buck. And the next question that kind of sort of answered it in the previous question, and that is, what time did you get up as a child to open up your presents? So yeah. I would say oh, very I early. Oh, I didn't know very that. Very early. Oh, I didn't know that was and on very there. Very early. So I would say at least uh, at least around 6 o'clock probably. Oh. Um, uh. And maybe, probably we're actually up before then, but we couldn't come downstairs mm. until 6 o'clock. So you were peeking at stuff probably. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking probably your brother David was the first one down there, or maybe even wait until everybody went to sleep and then him sneaking down. <laughs> I'm just picturing it. I'm just picturing it. So, um, no, but we weren't allowed to get out of our bed and then go to the tree to open up the gifts until mom said we were allowed, at least as far as I can remember, because I don't ever remember going in and waking her up. But again, I might be wrong, so Jane, don't get on me about that, my sister. She, she's going to be watching us, and she'll be like, you got it all wrong. But, hey, that's my old brain, so. There he is. My next question, were you, uh, uh, were you in any Christmas plays at any time in your life? No, church, uh, church, church. Not that I can remember. That's not true. The time, old time Christmas That wasn't church. a Christmas play. Yes, it was. It was a church. It was a church play, but it wasn't a Christmas play. You sure? Yes. What was it? It was called Before uh, Time or Father, Father time. time. So what was that pertaining to? It had to do with, uh, it wasn't Christmas time. Hmm. It had to do... Uh, Father time. Isn't that uh, Christmassy? Father time? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Rick. Brother Rick. <laughs> was that a Christmas play that Kenny was in? Anyway, so the question is, were you in any plays? Right. And the answer for me is no. no. Okay. I was in a play, but I don't think it was... Reference to Christmas. And he was dang good, too, let me tell you. Thank should you have been much. an actor. You should have been, you know, you, what's well, that? how do you say I, that? I, I do act a lot. <laughs> how do they say that? You, something, ah, when you could have been something and you didn't, so how do they say that you... Missed the boat? Mi no, that's not it. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Move on. Uh, uh, was your parents' tree decorated different each year? And I would say, for the most part, yes. No, but we weren't allowed to get ornaments on the tree. When they, and when we, there were glass ornaments back then. They would shatter. Uh, and, uh, but I can remember the, the uh, older style of ornaments that they would put up. And I think uh, they would use, those, use them over and over. And, but then... But, Sometimes they would take and add new stuff to the tree each year or two. And sometimes change the lights, too. Man, back back in the day, the lights used to get hot. They mm. were bigger. Yeah. And, of course, then they changed to the smaller lights that... Uh, I like the bigger ones. <laughs> and then I if do. one light bulb went out, they all went out. You know, there's some of... Uh, progress now now you got the LED lights so but um, so I would say a little bit each year they changed decorated a little bit different so the you want to just hold that right there the, the question is did they did your parents did your parents decorate the tree different each year yeah yeah my mom did um, I think mostly it was the the lights like I remember one year, I think it was a new thing, where the lights, like, what do you call that? Uh, you could speed them, the lights up. You know what I mean? Intermittent You lights. could do either inter intermittent or, like, make them go really fast or kind of slow. Or blink different colors. Yeah, so that was a really neat thing. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite, uh, to this day, I think is uh, blue, a blue... Uh, tree um, but yeah she liked to do that mom liked to do that and did you ever make gingerbread houses mm. especially the edible type mm. uh, 
Hold my, it up to an, my answer is relatively simple. I never have, no. Um, and, and my answer is I never have. And I'm trying to talk him into us doing one for you guys, getting the kit, you know, um, and maybe I can get my son here. That would be really nice. And we could do three. I've never done it. I, I've always wanted to do that. So, guys, comment. Please say, hubby, cubby, buy those for wifey, and let her enjoy Christmas even more with gingerbread house kits. Well, I <laughs> talk about <laughs> do you want us to do that, guys? Let us know in the comments. On to the next question. <clears throat> what Christmas songs do you remember being played in your household when you were a child? Aww. And... And I can reference that back to, um, I don't know if you remember. Charlie Pride. All I Want for Christmas is my th two front, front teeth. teeth. <laughs> uh, the Chipmunk songs. Yeah. Uh, Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby and White Christmas, um, traditional. Charlie Pride. Um, Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. Yeah. I uh, think these answers for, for what you're given would pretty much be the same as mine because we're close in age. Yeah. Yeah. So yours are what, like, being Crosby, Charlie Pride, who else? Uh, the uh, big ones, the big ones. Think of the big ones that your dad liked and your mom liked. Well, they liked the, the uh, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Like the traditional Christmas songs, even today, that you live here. Uh, but, uh, the old-time ones are my favorite. Yeah, but like she said, back... Back then, uh, some of the Christmas songs they play were my dad played country Christmas. Yes. And so you would have your your, your country singers back then would be uh, Merle Haggard and and uh, Charlie Pride. Charlie Pride and, 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 Freddie and those, those singers. Trying Tammy Wynette. Oh yeah. Oh. Question number twenty: Did your dad we'll turn it that ever way? dress up as a Santa Claus? Aww. And the answer for of me course. is definitely yes. Of course, yes. No, my course. dad was a pretty good size guy. He was about six foot four and pretty good size uh, <clears throat> growing up. And uh, he had actually had a, a Santa Claus outfit, and that he would traditionally put. Wonder where um, he got that. And go around to the kids and the grandkids Aww. places with a suit on, on Christmas Eve. That's so cute. And uh, that's it. And uh, he enjoyed it, and and then after a while, uh, it was sort of passed on to my my brother Rick, and my brother Rick started. Really, doing it. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Ha! Huh. And then he sort of took over for Dad, Aww. and uh, uh, my dad stopped doing it. My brother Rick uh, sort of took over and replaced him, and he uh, did the same thing. So, and I'm not sure if they. If they still do it presently or not, but I, I do remember those. Those are good memories. So what? where did Rick, like, was it just for his grandchildren or where? where it he... would be, he would visit uh, his grandkids and also uh, uh, the rest of the, the rest family? of families that were living within the area. Didn't, did Close. you guys have, like, go to a hall, rent a hall and... Um, have a family Christmas or anything? Because of not having a room and being large families, we got together and as a as family rented a, a, a rod and gun club, I think it was. For because of not having a work Christmas things. Our, and our Christmas dinner. Who dressed up for Santa? Oh, yes, I remember. Tammy was there, I think. I remember that. Yeah, who was the Santa Claus? Well, I went a couple different times. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. But hubby cubby had the perfect upbringing. I'm gonna have to tell you guys sometime. It's just so nice, so nice. And I'm happy for him. I'm jealous, but I'm happy. Next question: Did your parents, or you as a parent, ever scout your neighborhood for home and yards that were decorated? I can remember as as um, as a child, my parents would drive 
uh, we all get in the car and we drive around the neighborhoods looking at lights and stuff like that. That's what that is, yep. Yep. And um, I can remember, yeah, seeing all the pretty decorating and stuff like that, so. The answer is yeah. yes. Yeah, for yes. You. The answer is yes. Uh, for me, hmm. I don't think we did. I don't think we did. That's that's my answer. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That's all I got. Uh, do you like eggnog? And did your kids? Uh, I personally like eggnog. And, and it's become a tradition. Every Christmas, I would buy eggnog. And um, work. Drink an eggnog, too. But that's okay. Um, I had it once a year. Now, did you have... Store-bought or homemade? I would buy the store-bought. I've, I've never made it. I've never trust myself to take rides and make my own eggnog. Mm -hmm. I've always bought it. Um, mm. But uh, sometimes I would just have one glass of it and maybe never drink any more after that. But it was just... But did you put any um, no, special stuff in your no, eggnog no, as an adult? No. no uh, never? Um, I've never done it. No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. So for me, what was the question again now about uh, as a, your parents or me for the eggnog? You or your kids. Ever have eggnog? Yeah. Ever make eggnog? Um, I think I remember making some for my children. Probably didn't do it a lot. Uh, bought some store, bought didn't really like it. I, to tell you the truth, I don't think the kids really, they might take a couple sips of it. But I don't think we were big on that. Yeah. You just answered the next question, and I did too. And since, was it store-bought or homemade? Sorry. <laughs> Did you ever listen for the sound of Santa's sleigh on the rooftop or the chimney when you were a child? And did you think you heard him? Go ahead and answer. I don't remember that. I, I do remember us having a tin roof on our house. So if, if he did, we'd hear it pretty loud. <laughs> but uh, I, no, I don't remember <clears throat> actually having memories of any remembering that. Uh, I, I think we used to did set out cookies and milk. Aww. Um, and, and of course, I think parents would pull a fast one, and somebody would eat them. <laughs> but, but uh, so I guess no for me. Um, I think I already answered that one. Um, listening for that as. You know, as a child, yeah, I dreamed a lot about that. Like daydreamed at night, <laughs> night. I don't know what you would call that. Daydreaming at night, lying awake and kind of just looking up at the ceiling. And um, yeah, so yeah, I did that. And I'm sure my kids did that. I'm sure. <clears throat> now, was church a part of Christmas time for your parents and you as a child? or for you and your children when they were little at your house. Uh, church was a part of Christmas time because like I said, uh, I, and I belong to part of the youth group of, of the church that we went to. And so anytime uh, Christmas would come around, we would have uh, actually sleigh rides as, as well as caroling. And, oh, wow. uh, and my mom was part of the uh, woman's auxiliary, so she would do a lot of the baking and stuff like that too. Mm. So, uh, so we were part of the church, and it was important. Um, as far as my uh, two daughters, uh, when they were growing up, they were part of the church also. Um, it was important to me that they would go to church because uh, mm. I felt very important, and um, so they were involved with with. with with church activities as well, so, and uh, and your ex-wife, she kept up with that after you guys broke up. I, I think if they kept up with it because of their grandparents on her side, her mom and dad. Um, yeah, tell them a little bit about uh, your ex-mother-in-law, just briefly. 
Kind well, of I had wonderful. Christmas I had wonderful ex mother and father. In Christ, Christmas specifically with your ex mother in law. Say that. Christmas specifically with your ex mother. Oh well, my my ex father in law had a tradition at Christmas time. He would buy a very very expensive rolled roast, special roast, Christmas time. Cost. But did you put a bit? Hold that. And uh, and, and they ha always had a nice. Uh, Christmas meal, and, and the families would come, and they had a large house, so they had uh, uh, a lot of people there. But, um, and, and matter of fact, after a divorce, whenever I would go visit my kids, because they lived Oops. in another state, I would actually uh, spend my time at their ex in law's house. My father in law told me, he says, I might have, I might have lost a son-in-law, but I didn't lose a friend. Because we did a lot of things together. We fished together. Um, he, he loved playing a steel guitar, and uh, mm. so we we just had a lot of things in common. And uh, so they insisted that when I come out and visit my daughters, that I would stay at their house instead of running a, a hotel or a motel. And so I was really flattered by that, and that appreciated it. And they treated me. Uh, very well, even after our divorce. So I, I commend them for that, and I was very lucky. Yeah. So, so you talked about your father-in-law, but I didn't hear you talk about your ex-mother-in-law for Christmas. Like, did you do things with with her? I didn't hear you say that. Did you? No, I don't remember anything specific with her. Um, for the kids, with her, for Christmas when you were with your ex. Well, not ex then, but you know what I mean. Your first marriage. I uh, don't remember anything specific. They were just good grandparents to my kids. Mm -hmm. I always treated them well. Um, Do you remember them bringing gifts over for the kids? They used to actually come out and visit. From Indiana. They actually lived in Indianapolis, Indiana, to be more specific, and lived in the northeast part of Pennsylvania. It was a 12 hour drive. Mm -hmm. But they would come out, spend uh, uh, time, and, uh, and 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 bring gifts for them at Christmas time when they come out at Christmas time. Or uh, and they're just wonderful, wonderful grandparents for my my daughters and uh, wonderful uh, 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 father-in-laws, mother-in-law. Uh, yeah. So they were really awesome to you even after your your break up. Oh yes, oh, yes, yeah. Wonderful memories. Okay, the next question. What number are we on? We are on number twenty six. Did you ever have a cat climb your Christmas tree and get stuck <laughs> in it? Not that I ever remember. Ever, ever. Not, not that I ever remember. Oh my gosh. Well, my answer would be yes, and plenty of times. I remember it happening for my mom. I remember happening for me and my trees, because uh, we were cat lovers, animal lovers, period, but cat lovers, and yeah, I remember them getting stuck and us having a heck of a time trying to get them out. Uh, for my mom, for me, um, I think probably for my daughter, too, right now. <laughs> she She's a cat lover, and... Um, yeah, so I'm sure she's had that happen for her too, and I don't think, I don't think my son has ever had any cats, so I don't think the answer would be yes for him. But okay, twenty-seven. And do you remember a time when your a dog stole the ham or turkey from your t countertop or table, or someone else's dog in someone else's home? Do you ever remember that? I don't. Uh, I think we always kept our dogs and cats. Uh, and, um, outside or? Well, no, not necessarily outside. In but another room, like quarantined off? They or were watched the closely and disciplined and, and behaved. Uh, hmm. We just didn't have that happen, no. Hmm. Uh, no, that didn't happen for me. No, that's that's... For me, that's more of a, a TV, uh, Hallmark Mo movie. kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Movie. So, no. Did any of your family members never crochet you anything 
Christmas, uh, any Christmas gifts? Yes, my mom. Well, my answer is yes. Uh, my mom uh, crocheting uh, uh, pillow sets and that <laughs> can uh, for me and my ex-wife uh, one year. And uh, she did a lot of, uh, made a lot of, a lot of napkins and stuff, so. Um, so the question is, did your family members now crochet you any Christmas gifts? Hmm. Your mom used to crochet a lot. Now. Well, um, she mostly did, I'm trying to remember, I think she just did like blankets, but so my aunt we didn't get gifts like that. So I remember certain members of the family crocheting or knitting or whatever, but they didn't pass gifts on, so. Okay. Did you have Christmas you stockings? Absolutely. I could actually remember the type of stockings. I don't know if they still sell them today or not, but we they were like a, a netting type stocking just oh, yeah. full of all kinds of goodies, candies and different things like that. Mm -hmm. They were a store bought. And I can remember getting them as kids. They would have, you know, chocolates, all kinds of stuff. Back when the stockings were filled with good stuff. These days it's mostly what, plastic little toys yeah. or whatever. And then uh, but uh, I can also remember uh uh Getting. We are on to number 30. Yep. And the question is? Yes, did you have Christmas stockings for your children? Were they bought, filled, or did you fill them up? And I, and like I said, I was talking about uh, the uh, ones that used to be filled up, used to buy at the store. Uh, with all kinds of different kinds of candy, Christmas candies and, and stuff like that. And now, as far as my uh, kids, we used to buy uh, stockings, and then we would fill them up ourselves, and, uh, and and we would put little 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 toys and different little things and candies and stuff like that. But I, I wonder how many of you guys remember uh, uh, back in the day when they used to have those uh, lifesaver books. They were actually oh. uh, it looked like a book that you yep. would open up and it would have maybe uh, ten to a dozen different lifesavers, different flavors and stuff like that. Yep. That was a common thing. And when, and when I was a kid growing Stocking up. Stocking suckers. Uh, yep. But so, yes, uh, 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 we, we bought stockings, and then we would take and uh, uh, fill them up with little little trinkets, little, all kinds of little things. Uh, uh, I, I, I mean, we even bought stockings for our, our pets. <laughs> buy them treats and stuff and put them in it so oh. and that was one, one when you say we, we is that like when you were younger or well since when kids? I was this is when I had my own two daughters okay so as far as your mom went did uh, as far as my parents went uh, we would have uh, the store bought ones that makes sense all those kids yeah uh, let me see, so the question is, did we have store-bought or did we have homemade? Is that the question? They were, were they bought or were they filled or did you fill them up yourself? Um, we bought the stockings for the kids and then we filled them up ourselves. I really didn't personally like the store-bought ones with the stuff in it. Or, I think I remember maybe a few times buying the store-bought ones and then buying extra stuff and putting it into the stocking. But mostly I think we bought the old-time fashion stocking and uh, stuffed them ourselves. And I think I remember doing a pet one maybe once in a while. I do remember that, but yeah. I got to remember being threatened, too, by saying you were going to have nothing but coal in our stockings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I did that for my kids, too. Yep. And our uh, very, very last question. So we are on. Do you have specific mem special memories at Christmas time uh, with your children? Uh, specific. 
like probably the the one that comes to the forefront of your mind every time you think of Christmas when they were young. I can't I can't think of anything specific. I know all the Christmases were. Did they get we, any? We good? always tried. We always tried to make sure that they uh, didn't go without, and they had plenty of gifts. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, I can remember we pile up. To, presents on the tree and sometimes I would think, ah, oh, too much. I'll go out and I'll buy a couple more oh, things. Oh, not enough. <laughs> yep. Okay. Buy a couple more things. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, and I think that reflects on how I was brought up um, with, the, with all of us siblings and seeing that pile of gifts around the tree, uh, all different sizes and shapes and wondering what we were getting and stuff like that. And, and it brings back uh, a, a memory I can remember one of, one of my special gifts. Now I think about it, uh, when my dad got me the uh, a gas-powered airplane to fly. Wow! And I can re I can remember trying to start that engine up on that plane, and wow! And it would hurt my fingers. That, that was an expensive <laughs> gift. But uh, but. Uh, I can, to this very day, remember the smell of the fuel that we used for that plane, mm. stuff like that. So yeah, I have, I have some fond memories when I was growing up. And as far as my daughters go, I know they were always happy for what they got. Because we tried to take and uh, appease them with, with what they were, were interested in. For example, Cabbage Patch, oh, I mean, that was popular, yeah. and that, that sort of stuff. So we always got them what was hot door at the time yep. and uh, stuff like that so uh, now the question again is uh, specific special memories at Christmas time with your children with my children and of having little kids at Christmas time to me that was a big part of Christmas and that kind of makes me sad that we don't have that um, so we try to relive that a little bit through our grandchildren as much as we can. Um, I just remember them wanting to get up like, oh, cripe, it must have been four in the morning. I'm like, you get back to bed, it's not time to get up yet. And it seems like it would be every hour that they're doing that. Finally, I gave in probably around six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> especially my son Justin trying to pop out of bed. and. Yeah, but that would be one of the memories. The other is, like I already told you, when my ex-husband had them locked in the bedroom and I was at work, came home, I came home and then the gifts were all opened up and they were having a ball in there. Just, uh, yeah, ripping the gifts apart, or yeah. ripping the wrap, wrapping paper and just having a ball with I everything. I picture you being furious. Oh, I was furious, but, you know, it was kind of funny, too. It was, it was funny. Um, at this moment, I can't really think about too much. Um, just them getting up early in the morning and then uh, opening the gifts up, that was a lot of fun. And seeing the expressions on their faces. Expressions, yeah. yeah. But um, I hope you all enjoyed all these questions and the answers um, that we put together, together. <laughs> and uh, I hope that you all were able to reflect, you know, as we were doing it. Um, and, and I hope you all had some good memories, and I hope this Christmas is one of your very best. I really do. And I hope you all enjoyed meeting Kenny, my husband, to put a face to the name of sometimes talking about him. <laughs> but it uh, seems like he had pretty much the perfect childhood, huh, guys? It makes me feel a little funny talking about mine, because mine was quite different. You know, I had points in my life where things were pretty good and I had points when things were pretty bad so I have good memories yeah um, and I, I enjoyed doing this this uh, questionnaire and, uh, yeah thing. nostalgic and I just want to say it's nice uh, nice nice to sharing this with, with all you out there and uh, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and uh, happy as a new year so yep so maybe we can say it together Merry Christmas so next time Merry Christmas guys Thank you, babes. Now we can get started.
Bye.